Cancerians, hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, this is your general reading for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Cancer. Now, I already have an accent, which you're well aware, and, um, and I'm talking a bit weirdly at the moment. It's because I had a, bruise, a, a tooth breaking off, a break off, and uh, now I'm having a denture. And um, I've only had it in for three days. And um, and I need to keep it in to learn to, to relearn to speak, if that makes sense. So it feels a bit weird at the moment, and I'm having some sort of a, of a lisp. Um, anyway, I sound a bit different. Um, I hope you still understand every word I'm saying. If not, there's a subtitles button here somewhere. It is what it is. I need to get used to that denture. Um, that's the way it goes. Anyway, what we do here, Cancerians. We are looking at your entire month, August 2022, and we will divide your, your being <laughs> into sections so it's easier for you to understand it and easier for me to read it. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for Cancerians for the month of August 2022, and then we will look at, or at um, your emotional core, see what the guides say to you with regards to love and maybe letting go of, of pain, old baggage, that kind of stuff. And then finally, we look at opportunities. Opportunities, for the most part, will be about what sustains you financially. Now, before we do this, I mentioned a couple of months ago that um, a friend of mine and myself were working on a card deck. And the card deck has now been completed. What that means is we know what the cards look like. And um, we're still in the process of... of um, getting quotes about how much that would cost us and all kind of stuff. And then there will be a Kickstarter campaign coming. But the cards are ready. Um, they look smashing. And if you want to see how they look, just watch the video till the end. Because when your reading is over, there will be about a minute um, video here uh, at the end of this one um, about the Kickstarter campaign and about the card deck. So please, please, please watch till the end. Readings are short anyway. Here we go, Cancerians. This is your overall energy for the month of August 2022. And you have release. So that is something that normally comes up with regards to your emotional core. But it comes up straight away when the guides are looking at your overall energy. What you're being asked in August is to not engage a lot in arguments with others if you are with people or in situations where you feel like it's bloody fictitious all the time, right? make sure you either walk away or you get some me time. Really, really important because your job and what the guides are trying to help you with <coughs> is for you to release all the stuff, or at least most of it, that you still carry with you. If that makes sense. I have to say the way I get this, Cancerians, don't shoot a messenger. What I'm getting is that sometimes, you know, bad things happen to good people. But sometimes it is also on you. Because what I'm getting here is that you, you are not stopping enough to reflect on what has happened in your life. So you just keep going somehow, which is not always helpful. Because the depiction that you have for releasing is the autumn tree. Right? So 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 the leaves will 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 die soon. This is about letting go, right? And stopping. Please stop. Right? Don't make the same mistakes again and then think there's a different outcome. That's sort of what I'm getting. There's a sort of a bit of an urging um, energy here where the guides are saying is also pay attention to yourself it's not always just other people that um, are maybe incompatible with you it's not always just other situations where you just don't quite fit in it is also about you understanding to manifest what really suits you right and then get there by pacing yourself right your job this month august 2022 my dear Cancerians, are and is to release. Okay? Now, let's look at the um, emotional core. Oh, cool. Emotional core is transformation. So, 
if you allow yourself or once you allow yourself, when you allow yourself to actually release a lot of that shit that sits inside you and doesn't serve you anymore, you have a proper chance of changing your outlook, thus changing your outcome. Um, and really having a better life. But it all starts, like I said, with releasing and now transforming. So when it comes to emotions, you're not asked to, to um, sounds a bit weird, you're not asked to suffer. When you release stuff that has sat there for a long time, of course it will feel painful and there will be tears, tears are sacred medicine. That is all part of healing. Just because it doesn't feel right doesn't mean it needs, it doesn't need to happen. So allow it to happen. Allow yourself, you know, these, these moments where you feel like, well, this is all too much. Yeah, let it be too much because you are transforming. Transformation is happening for you provided you learn to release and you're not just repeating because that's what I'm getting a lot for Cantarians this month that your repetitions are what are what are hindering you from making proper changes okay so let's have a look now at the opportunities um, for the month of August 2022 right it is one of those months where you know school is breaking up and a lot of people go on holiday. So there isn't. It's August by default. It's not um, a month that yields a lot of a lot of um, opportunities. So there aren't that many coming. What the guides are saying to you is, you have the wise leader. <laughs> the wise leader means that while you may looking for opportunities yourself, your job is literally to be yourself. Let people know that you know what you're talking about, right? So highlight what you can do already. Don't sell yourself short. And then, so the way they, they make me look at it here, the way they make me feel is, um, so they show me Frankfurt, which is, which is sort of a, a big city. I'm from a, a neighboring city called Offenbach, but my whole family lives in Frankfurt. I spent my entire youth there. But the point is, they show me Frankfurt and I come from a family of salesmen. I could have sold my grandmother if anybody wouldn't have wanted her. But the point is, I'm, you know, I can talk well. <laughs> and so they're showing this to me to say that to you. The more you sell your knowledge and your achievements, it's not ego to say to someone, yeah, I've done this before. I think I would be an asset to your company. That sort of stuff. That's not ego. And that's what they're asking you. Don't just sell yourself short, right? Because that doesn't quite uh, work for you this very month. Ultimately, that's all we got. Um, so please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That concludes your reading. Please keep watching another minute. It tells you all about the card deck, which looks absolutely stunning, which you will see if you continue watching. And please subscribe and um, so i can see you all next month bye bye